yo, her, and then, but another story I wanted to talk to you about is that this is actually a story I've heard from like two or three people already. They said that when you guys started making beats or whatever, and people started hating on you or whatever, like obviously you guys are thrown, you guys are thrown into almost like the spotlight at at Can Am, right? So before you guys were just low key working, now it's like, oh shit, we gotta fuck with them. So obviously that's also gonna bring scrutiny. Now I heard that one time, you like. After that day, everybody respected you and looked at you at a different, like, like they had respect for you, not only your music, but also like, okay, he ain't no punk. That one time you're working, Hammer and Shook come in, Hammer kind of messes with you like he wants to box with you, right? He throws a little jab at you, and he was like, yeah, Tyrone blocked it. And uh, that Shook was like, oh, shit, Tyrone got some, you know, he got some gloves, he got some gloves. And that you and Hammer come Hey, hey, how you hear about this one? Man. <laughs> how you hear about this? Yes, 100, man. 100. Uh, we was chilling, man. Uh, Sugar had called me in the room and shit. We all chilling. And uh, uh, Hammer came, MC Hammer came in. And I mean, out of nowhere, he just like threw a punch at me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, Hammer, what you doing? I don't box. I don't get out like that. So uh, he's like, come on, Tyrone, let's box. And I'm like, are you sure you want to do that? So Shug told Hammer, he was like, Tyrone ain't no punk, boy. So Hammer was like, what you got? So, you know, we started boxing. And I hit, like, I hit dude one time in his kidneys, and he, like, stopped. Just like that. And then he pat, he pat himself on the kidneys. He was like, good shot, Tyrone, good shot. And he just... <laughs> He, it was that was it. That was it. That's great. You know, you know before that row, man, I had did four four years in prison. Yeah. So, so you know So the intimidation <laughs> thing, you already knew about that, right, Tyrone? Exactly exactly. Like basically they get you one time and and, and, and they got you. But if you you know, if you keep your guards up and you always you know what I mean, like Cause I, Cause I could see that happening, Tyrone. Especially you know when people started hating on you guys. And, you know I know people were saying that you guys were playing favoritism, and which was a thousand percent not true. Correct, Tyrone? Just nobody now, wanted to fuck with you. It was uh we had a meeting one day. I'm finna give you some exclusive shit right now. We had this meeting, and Sam Smee, you know that was Dr. Dre's best friend, and at the time Dre had just left. Uh, the role, and so Sugar called Sam Snead out in the meet and said, "We heard you made a video looking like you was in New York with Timberlands on and white tee, and you ain't say nothing about Death Row, you ain't say nothing about the West Coast. What's up with that, Sam? Is that true?" So Sam's looking at Sugar like, "No, man, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even like that, man. You know, I'm down with the role." So Sugar was like, "You sure?" He was like, yeah. He's like, I, I cut the lights out and cut on the TV. This is scary as hell. He cut on the TV, and the track was sounding so eerie, so dark. Like, it sounded like somebody was about to get their ass whooped. <laughs> so, um, we, we watching the video. Everybody in there, Snoop, everybody, man. All the artists, Ray, Star Pound, Pop, everybody. So, uh, he was looking like he was from New York. He had Timbers on, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get no shouts out. Say nothing about the road, nothing about the West Coast. And so when he cut the lights back on, Sam Snee had a look on his face like, I'm sorry. You know, and Tupac was like, damn, Sam, man, I get love. To, I ain't even from here, but I get love to everybody, nigga. I put my, my shit on the line. I'm, I got all y'all in my songs. I get love to the West Coast, nigga, and the road, nigga. Why you ain't woo woo woo? So Sam just looking like, man, it ain't that serious, man. So Tupac stole on, on Sam. Out of the clear blue. Damn. So Sam didn't even hit him back. So he got a couple of more licks in. And then Suge grabbed Snoop. Like, I mean, Suge grabbed Tupac. I'm sorry. Like, come on, man. No, no, man. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So uh, he's like, Suge said, Sam, where your friend at? He was like, who? Like, you know what I'm talking about. He was like, Dre, you go on. He said, tell everybody in the room about Dr. Dre. Tell everybody in the room Dre C. And Sam was like, he looking, he had his head down, like, come on, man, don't do me like that. 
That's my friend, man. Don't make me put him on the line. So shit, like, don't tell him, Sam. Tell him, Sam. Shit, Dre ain't. I mean, Dre is gay, ain't Sam. Sam said. Yeah, man. And she said, say, what, what, what? Sounds like, Trey gay, man. And uh, so, after that, it was, no. She told Sam, go wipe his face off, because we're going to eat after this. <laughs> so Sam went and wiped his face off. And then, right after that, she said, anybody else in here been fucking up? And one of the, one member from OFTB, they stood up, Omar, and this shocked the shit out of me. He said, yeah, Tyrone been playing favoritism. He don't want to get nobody beats but Pop. I kind of smirked, man. I had a smirk on my face like, oh, wow. Shug looked at me, put his cigar in his mouth. He hit his cigar. He looked back at me and said, what's up, Tyrone? I said, what's up, Shug? Then he hit his cigar again. He said, anybody else? I already knew that. This shit wasn't about to go down. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the relationship me and Suge had, Suge know that I'm not in the studio fucking around. He know I'm on my mission and I'm working hard. You feel me? Every time he come to the studio and see me, I'm working. So he ain't really like, he ain't even feed off of that. He looked at me he like, what's up, Tyrone? I spoke to him and he's like, anybody else? But it was a shock to me that dude put me, try to put me out there like that. And I was offering everybody peace. Before Pac came, I was trying to get everybody to be Omar. And they was all like, they weren't shooting them down, but they was just like, oh, keep going, you getting good. And, 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 yeah, I, I like that one. But it was never, let me get that one. And, and I knew they was, I knew I had something, Omar. I got a good ear, man. I knew I had something, but I, I just couldn't understand why wasn't nobody picking a the beat. Then later on, it came to me like, oh, Artists, they like, they was clickish. They had their own producers, their own little click. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah.